What's going on guys, this is MCS Red here. Today I have a video on the installation and the maintenance of the Hurricane Lock Bolt. So, let's jump right into it. Okay, so, obviously I have a Hurricane here and I'm going to be showing you how to install the Lock Bolt mechanism as well as how to maintain it, clean it, and reassemble it back into the marker. First off, Let's just talk about what the lock bolt is. The lock bolt, if you haven't watched any of the other videos, is our design of the, basically a mechanical eye. And what it does is it doesn't, it, it's a basically a uh, fail safe that if a round doesn't enter the breech properly and engage this white tab, the marker bolt that actually fires a projectile will not enter the breach. It will actually be blocked by this um, this white uh, release here. So what that does and what that means is the marker can't be dry fired uh, without locking up that lock bolt, which is a, a safety thing as well. And then also if you're, let's say a paintball gets damaged in the magazine or um, it doesn't be properly seat, you have feeding issues, it'll be a, a very uh, an easy notification that will let you know that, hey, something's up with the marker that's it's not feeding correctly, the bolt's not firing forward. So it's a, it's a safety thing as well as peace of mind for you to go out into the field and start firing your marker confidently. It also is an audible notification that you're out of ammunition when you're using uh, the magazines. So. It serves multiple purposes and it's a very vital piece to a lot of our Takamo kits. So it's available now for the Blizzard, the Bolt, uh, the Vortex, and obviously the Hurricane has been on for a while now, but this is also a great, great upgrade for those of you who are getting the conversion kits. So what you get in your package is the pin and then your, obviously your lock bolt cover here and then your actual lock bolt itself. And inside here is actually a little spring. So I've disassembled it to show you exactly all of the components. So reassembling it, and I'm gonna show you that right now, um, is, is very simple to do. Uh, it's very simple to install on your marker, um, but let's talk about the cleaning aspect. Sometimes, let's say a lot of us don't have the luxury of being able to use our own paint, so we're, we're forced to use the that, that uh, darn field paint that everyone is afraid of. And with MagFed guns, we all know that it, you do need to use a thicker shell paint. And that's just because we're no longer allowing the paintballs to be fed gravity by gravity. We're now using a magazine to force feed all of the projectiles up via a spring. So a lot of paintballs, if they're not higher quality or have that thicker shell, are not gonna be able to withstand that spring tension. So they may ovalize, deform, um, maybe even break, or the complexity of the shell uh, is, uh, or the integrity of the shell, I'm sorry, may be damaged. So when it does enter the breach and engage this lock bolt, as soon as that bolt hits it, it's gonna break. Um, so the lock bolt helps us, uh, helps you get rid of uh, those chops and breaks that allows only properly formed projectiles to enter and, and engage that. Uh, this mechanism so the bolt will fire. So like I said, it does help you. Um, but let's say you do get a break in there and you need to disassemble it completely so you can clean the inside of this and then also clean the, uh, the mechanism itself. So what you have here is on this, uh, on this cover, there is a pin and it's kind of hard to see. You can kind of see it right there. It's very small. This, so keep in mind, there's a lot of small pieces on this lock bolt. On this pin, I'm going to take these uh, pliers here and grab it so I can show you. On this pin, one side has knurling. So you can kind of see that here. That will, that will kind of focus for you. So it does have knurling on the end here. That side goes on the goes on the outside here so when you install it the the opposite side of the knurling okay so i'm turning the pin over so the knurling is right here in my finger uh it will go in you will install it this direction what this pin does is it holds in your lock bolt mechanism 
Okay, so and we're gonna go ahead, let's say we've already cleaned it, we're gonna reassemble it here. I'm going to just set the pin back in just like this and make sure there is a spring here, okay? So you need to make sure that this spring doesn't get damaged or lost because you're not gonna be able to use a lock bolt. It just sets right back in very easily. And we're gonna take our pin now. And that, you can use some needle nose pliers for this. It's probably gonna be better. I have, I have big fingers, so it's not gonna be easy for me. And then I'll just go ahead and I'll reinsert this back in. I'll take my pin, okay? The pin that I was already, that came with it, that we're gonna use again and I will push down on that pin, okay? And that will hold it into place. And you can see it's not going anywhere. Um, you can use a smaller like needle nose, even the, the tip of a pen would do here. And then that way you can just push it in as far as you need to, to make sure that it locks into place. And that's it. The other pin, this big one, is gonna hold it in as well. And this is actually gonna be the pin that it kind of hinges off of. So, <coughs> excuse me, that's how you reinstall that baby pin. Now, let's say we're, we're taking it off the marker because we need to clean it. All you need to do, like I said, use the same pin that you got, and from this direction, from the opposite side of where we installed the pin, you see that hole right here, you push that pin through, and then that will, not, that will allow this pin to come out just enough for the white, um, for the white, the lock bolt itself, and the spring to come out. Okay, but keep in mind when you do that, you don't want to lose your little pin here. If you push it too far and it comes all the way out, you don't need to do that. You just need to push it just enough where it will, it'll not um, be holding it back anymore and it'll come right out. Okay, so it's very easy to do. Um, you don't need to do anything else than that. Um, from here, you'll have access to your your bore, your breach here, obviously. Always inspect your ball detent. Make sure it's one installed correctly, uh, which you see here. Uh, that's how you want it to be installed and then two, just make sure that it's not uh, Damaged or anything like that or if it's time to replace the ball detent is really important because it does hold the projectile in place before the uh, Bolt hits it. Okay, so Let's go ahead and reassemble uh, And install the lock bolt. So for those of you who don't have the lock bolt This is where you're gonna want to watch uh, and pay attention. So The Lock bolt can only go on one way, which is great. So what you're gonna do is you're going to set it in its groove, okay? And you will, you'll be able to, uh, when you put the pin in and tap it down, you'll be able to do that a lot easier. But just for now, you can see that it just slides into place. There's three pins here or three prongs that come out. They slide right into this area and then this covers that part. So you can see right now, without the pin being in, the lock bolt's working correctly. It's moving up and down, it can move freely. Now, here's the tricky part that you have to pay attention to. When we install the pin, and the pin gets installed with this little gash right here, facing forward of the marker. So towards the barrel end, you're gonna insert from that direction. So you can see here, there you go. So. When we put and we install the pin here, it's, it's gonna be stiff, which is perfectly normal, but we do need to pay attention on how we install here because you'll see that the lock bolt on the rear starts to come up a little bit, and that's okay. It's completely normal. What we'll do is uh, we'll tap this in a little at a time. Obviously, you can use a rubber mallet. I'm using just a, I need one of those pliers, but you can see it's starting to go through this chamber. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna line up and it's actually gonna go in through uh, the lock bolt itself like we talked about earlier. So what we can do here is I'm gonna go ahead, went in quite easily from one point. Some may go in really easy, some may go in not so easy, but it will go in. So now we have the lock bolt and the pin inside. One thing you'll wanna look at uh, and start testing when you put the when you when you have the pin in you can see there's a little bit of a gap here We don't want that we can go we're gonna go ahead and tap that down, but we want to make sure that the lock bolt Can move freely and the spring that's below the lock bolt itself that I showed you earlier in the video Actually returns the lock bolt into the position 
to where it's blocking the bolt. You see how right there, that, that white thing right there, it's in the chamber, that bolt won't go through. Now it goes to the outside so the bolt can properly engage a projectile. So as long as that moves freely, that's good. So to remove this gap, now we need to just tap it down and you take all three prongs and you start tapping it down. Okay, a little bit at a time. Check that lock bolt, make sure that it still moves freely and engages and disengages properly without having to do any force. So as you can see here, it's working perfectly fine. The gap is getting smaller. We'll go ahead and do. Okay. And that looks good. When you put the magazine well back on, you can see here that it does really well. The gap's closed. You have perfectly flush thing here um, as far as the lock bolt and the magwell. So what happens sometimes that you'll also, when you install the magwell, you can see that little slit here and that's because of the activator tooth of the magwell. So what we do um, is you're gonna have to hammer that part in as well once you reinstall the uh, magazine well. When you do that, this is another part, the same exact thing, you're gonna want to hit it down and then check that lock bolt to still make sure that it's moving correctly. Um, if you tap it down too hard and it actually pinches, what's gonna happen is that magazine or that lock bolt will most likely not return correctly. So what you'll have to do is take off the mag wall and then reinstall and do that again. Um, but ra rarely does that happen, but it can happen. So that's why we're letting you know now. Um, other than that, that's a perfectly installed lock bolt. You are now ready to put on your accessories and hit the field. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the installation of Lockbolt or where to find it, you can find everything or ask us any questions on the mcsus.com website. That's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you guys out on the field.